In this video, I will be talking about estimating quotients of 3 to 4 digit dividends by 1 to 2 digit divisors. So let's say for example we have 495 divided by 5. So this is an example of dividing 3 digit number by a 1 digit number where our dividend is 495 and our divisor is a one digit which is 5. So let's uh, estimate the quotient. So to estimate the quotient, we um, estimate first the values of this dividend and divisor. That means we round up based on its highest place value. And so 495, if you round it off to its hundreds place, so we check the number at the right, which is 9. And 9 is uh, telling you to round up the number. So from 495, now it becomes to 500. Then for the divisors, it's only one digit, so we'll just copy it and just divide. 500 divided by 5 so we'll put both in the box preparing to divide it using the long division so 5 divided by 5 is 1 so 1 times 5 is 5 then subtract 5 minus 5 is 0 then bring down 0 so 0 divided by 5 is 0 and 0 times 5 is 0. So subtract again. So 0 minus 0 is 0. Then bring down 0. So 0 divided by 5 is 0. Then 5, 0 times 5 is 0. Then subtract. And so 0 minus 0 is 0. And we don't have enough space to put the 0. So that means we don't have a remainder. So the quotient of 500 divided by 5 is 100. So the estimated quotient if you divide 495 by 5 is approximately equal to 100. So let's have another example. We have 2,184, a 4-digit number, and divided by 4. A one digit number and so let's uh, estimate the quotient so to estimate we need to estimate first uh, the values meaning we round off the values so that it's easier for us to estimate the value the quotient so this 2184 if you round off to its highest place value which is thousand so it will be two thousand so we round down because the number at the right is only 1. It's, it's less than 5. And then for the divisor, we just copy it because it's only 1 digit. And then we divide. So 2000 divided by 4. So we can divide 2 by 4 because it's smaller. We divide 20 by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5 because 5 times 4 is 20. Then subtract 20 minus 20 is 0. Then we bring down 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. It's because 0 times 4 is 0. Then subtract 0 minus 0 is 0. Then we still have one more 0 to bring down. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Then subtract 0 minus 0 is 0. So there's no more number to bring down. So the, the quotient is 500. So 2000 divided by 4 is equal to 500. So it means this 2184 divided by 4 is approximately equal to 500. So let's have another one. We have 326 divided by 28. So this is a three digit dividend 
divided by a two digit divisor. So let's estimate the quotient. So first is to round off both the dividend and the divisor by its highest base value. So we have 326. If you round it off, it will round down to 300 because the number at the right of 3 is only 2. It's less than 5. So that's why we round down. Now for 28, we round off. So since the number at the right of 2 is 8 and it's, it's, it qualifies for 5 or more, that means it qualifies for rounding up. So from 28, it becomes 30. Then we divide 300 by 30. So let's divide. But before that, we remove zeros. So we have a pair of zeros. Three, uh, from 30 and 300, it becomes 30 and 3. So that it's easier for us to divide. So 30 divided by 3. We have 3 divided by 3 is 1. Because 1 times 3 is 3. Then subtract 3 minus 3 is 0. Then bring down 0. So 0 divided by 3 is 0. And 0 times 3 is 0. So let's subtract again. 0 minus 0 is 0. And there's no more 0 to uh, bring down. So the quotient is 10. So that means this 326 if you divide it by 28 so the the answer is more or less equal to 10 now let's have one more example we have 6089 a four digit div uh, dividend divided by um, 18 so it's a two digit divisor so 6089 if you round off it will be 6,000 because the number at the right of 6 is only 0. So round down to 6,000. 6, and for 18, when we round off, it will become 20 because the number at the right of 1 is 8. Then let's divide. So before we divide, we remove a pair of zeros. So we only have two zeros left for 600. So 600 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. Because 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Then bring down 0. So 0 divided by 2 is 0. And 0 times 2 is 0. Then subtract. So we have 0. Then bring down 0. So 0 divided by 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Then subtract again 0 minus 0. Of course, that's 0. So the quotient is 300. So this means 6089 divided by 18. That is approxim approximately equal to 300. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.